Hello, my friends and channel subscribers. Greg here from Brisbane, Australia, with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today, we're reviewing Ferrex Pro electric lawnmower and how it compares to my old mass port um, petrol lawnmower. And I'm not really comparing them one side by side, but uh, here, the reason for me to move from petrol to electric, and I would like to be really honest about this. Not everything is great about electric, and I will walk you through and reasons why I moved from one to another. So this petrol electric mower is uh, five years old. It's slightly slowing down. It's not slowing down in the sense how it starts or how it cuts the grass, but it starts leaking oil everywhere and it's not longer suits my purpose. Now, I bought it around uh, $500 mark, which is kind of considerable uh, investment. And this one cost me, I think, $239 or $49. Please uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but close to $220, um, $40. So it's a half price of that one. How is it performing for me and why I bought an uh, electric mower for, uh, in the first place? So, first of all, I really got fed up of using petrol and oil and the whole stink and the whole um, noise that uh, petrol electric, electric uh, petrol mower makes. Um, it's powerful, it's great, but it's noisy for my liking. And, you know, in the winter, it's hard to start. Uh, it starts well. Look, uh, it's really good mower, but uh, still, we need to start it. Uh, when electric mower, you plug two of those batteries in, and it starts. So, uh, from that perspective here, uh, electric mower wins. Uh, let's talk about size. So, as you can see, because of the power of uh, uh, petrol mower, it's slightly bigger. Electric is smaller, so you may need to go more times to cut the same amount of grass. That's where petrol, petrol mower wins and electric loses. Also, in a sense of power, if your grass is too thick or too tall, uh, the electric mower, the Aldi one, will slightly struggle. So there's a two ways to go about it. You can adjust the height of the cut or you can cut grass more often. To be honest, I don't mind cut it more often because it's light, because it's easy, and because it's fun. Now, I think I already mentioned noise. Um, this one makes almost no noise, electric one, and this one, as you know, quite uh, quite noisy. Uh, another thing that I like, uh, I have very little access to my backyard from a front yard, and every time I need to mow both yards, I need to carry this one outside. This is a very heavy machine. And electric mower, look at this. I'll just come, pick it up quite easy with one hand. So it, it's almost weightless compared to petrol, and I can carry it everywhere. So uh, it gives me opportunity to cut more, maintain my grass, and so on at any point in time. So what I don't like about electric mower, uh, the Aldi one is... It requires two batteries, which is fine, but Aldi give you single battery charger. Uh, and it's not a fast charger. I don't mind being slow, so every battery takes approximately one to two hours to charge, depends how depleted it is. And you need to kind of plan in advance uh, if you're gonna cut the grass, or after you cut, you plug one battery in and go do your things and come back and plug another battery. It's not a chore. It's like a mobile phone that getting discharged, you know, every day. But uh, considering you're not cutting grass every day, it's fine. I'm just trying to say it's not like put petrol in, start and it go. So it requires a little bit of charging. Now the benefit of this, when they charge, you basically lift the cover, slide one battery in, the other battery in. Close the cover, then press the button, and it starts. You release everything, and it stops. So literally, there's no process to go through to start up and warm up, and it doesn't struggle in a sense of uh, you know cold engine, hot engine. 
Uh, you don't need to check oils. It's really easy to use. So for people asking me, um, what's my conclusion? Which one is better? I would tell you, like, there's no one is better. The petrol one, if you got thicker grass, if you got a larger area, it's the way to go. There's nothing with uh, this level of electric that will help you. However, if you got a yard like mine, which is 10 square meters at the front and 10 square meters at the back, uh, I'd suggest electric is much more appealing option. So it does cut grass perfectly. There's no maintenance and Aldi comes with five years warranty. So to me, it's no brainer. I really made the right choice and I recommend electric mower, whether it's Aldi or not Aldi, it doesn't really matter. If you've got smaller yards, it's the way to go. So if you miss an Aldi, I'll put links down below what other mowers I would recommend. You know, you don't have to buy them, but uh, considering and researching, you know, is a way to go. Uh, what I'm gonna do with the petrol one, I think I'm gonna keep it because it's also a mulcher. So uh, I probably use it once or twice a year. But from this time uh, onward, I will use electric only. So I'm cutting uh, grass with electric mower now for two weeks and absolutely love it. There's nothing done not to like. It's a slight adjustment with charging, but if you're not quite happy with the charging, you can buy for 40 bucks from Aldi, I think uh, dual charger or even more, um, you can buy a fast charger. It's up to you, it doesn't bother me. What's good about electric mowers as well, about a couple of other appliances, I make a video later on. You can use same batteries on those appliances, like I've got a, a cordless a tire pump and things like that. So it's things to consider that I'm using those batteries for other purposes as well. So to conclude, the price is right, the performance is right, and everything is easy. I'm happy with it and I would recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.